everyone. We're here with uh, Vasilis, who made Top 64 YCS Utrecht. And uh, what deck did you play? So I played Altergeist okay. with some spice. I've taken out uh, the impermanence from the deck to add the card that I will show you later. Okay, sure, yeah, we'll get right into it. Alright. So, the core is pretty standard. Uh, three of the good ones, two silk, one faker, one conquer. Mm -hmm. These are pretty standard, I think. Nothing to explain here. And just three hand traps, which is uh, Ask Blossom. It's generically good. Uh, I really liked it. Nothing to say here. Now, the spells, three extravagance, two pop. Uh, these were fine, more of this uh, kind of clock because you want at some point special summon a lot. But this version was really fine. And uh, the reason I kicked out Impermanence was this. This card won me so many games. When going second, I lost some die rolls, but this card uh, carried me. So I would consider uh, playing a third one of these. Uh, you don't really need the hand traps in this deck if you can stall because eventually you get going and your deck is really good. Now onto the traps. Uh, the standard runs, two of these, one of these, and three spoofing, which goes with the engine as well. Uh, yeah, this standard. Now I play six solemns, three strike, three judgment. Uh, these are the most powerful cards when going first and your main defense. So in every good hand you want to see at least one of these. Uh, this one is particularly good when going second as well, if they have negate on board and stuff like that. You can just try to play and when they try to negate you destroy their monster as well and you get ahead. Uh, so the other going second card that I played uh, was Inulumat. It wasn't really good this weekend because uh, I won most of my die rolls and this was dead in my hand. Or when my opponents won the die rolls uh, they made me go first. So this wasn't really good, but it was there when I did it. So I don't think I will change anyways. Because since we're not playing in permanence, uh, you need something for going second as well. Then uh, three compulsory, uh, one crack down. Uh, initially I thought this was better, but uh, with saddles becoming more popular, uh, this was actually the best one. And uh, it really helped me grind uh, the matchups when I was going second, so uh, this ratio was perfect for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one that uh, is honestly a blowout when you drag. So this is the main deck. Uh, onto the side deck. Uh, the best hand drop I think that hits most decks. Diddy Crow, this hits Lunar Light, this hits Salmon Great uh, Spiral. It's really good and you can put it against so many decks that uh, it's so versatile so you don't have to waste the, your side slots for other cards. And uh, Free Nibiru. This card was actually the best card in my side deck. Uh, it won so many games because nobody expected it. The thing is that you cannot use, it, use Faker's effect if you use this, and vice versa, but uh, this card wins games by its own because people do not expect it at all. Then, uh, Free Storm uh, for the mirror, for Invoked if they go first, not Shadow Invoked, Pure Invoked, which was really popular, I played free. Uh, this is really good, and whatever other control decks stuff like that. Free Duster for the mirror that I never played, but it has to be there in my opinion. And three different dimension grounds that I only draw twice and I was already winning, so it's fine. Now the extra, it's not really important, just uh, the Thunder Runs, Freak Rebo, one of these. I uh, will consider playing a second Almiras because there were so many times that my opponent banished all four of these. I think it happened like three times, something like that. And uh, I just had to summon the Metal Swing and wait. Uh, free Hextia, yeah, it's mandatory. And uh, the others are not really important. Just sometimes you need to use your extra deck to get Metal Swing to the grave and get its effect. Uh, I think the only one that's really relevant is World Sword, because uh, if you control the game with Mystic Mind at some point, you can uh, destroy your own mind by summoning a monster with manifestation, and you can easily OTK with this. That's pretty much it. Uh, any shoutouts you want to give? Yeah, first of all, to my roommate, Anes Xanidis, for helping me, and Andreas Varelos for giving me the idea to play Altergeist. Uh, to United Gossus as well, because they are always there helping me, giving me ideas, sharing stuff and stuff like that. And the most important one, to my friend Kaparix13, Georgios, from Greece. Uh, for giving me the deck and uh, always being there for me. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.